Justin Rose in the first round of the 85th Masters. Getty Images Augusta, Ga. Remember that time you hacked your first four shots, hold your fifth out of the rough and from the second tee to the house you could do no wrong? Justin Rose knows the feeling, too. He knows what it's like to turn things around. You remember Rose, and not just because he won the 2013 US Open at Marion and a gold medal at the 2016 Olympics. For England, Rose is a regular presence on our screens because TV golf broadcasts can't get enough of him, during commercial breaks. Here he is, eating ice cream for MasterCard. You want to talk about a spot that doesn't work? That spot doesn't work. Here he is providing voiceover for Morgan Stanley. Why does the British accent sound so authoritative? With the disappearance of Matt Kuchar as golf's great corporate TV spokesman, Rose has stepped in to fill the void. But the thing we haven't seen of late from him is his golf. Firm, fast Augusta National punishes field in Masters opening round by Sean Zach and then came the eighth hole of his first round in this 85th Masters, and Rose's 16th. Through seven holes, playing with long-reigning British Open champion Shane Lowry and Kuchar himself, Rose was two over. Not a shocker. His last 72-hole score was 293 at the World Golf Championship in late February. Rose, 40, still tall, still slender, the top shirt button still buttoned, batted third off the tee of the par 5 8th. He pulled his second shot, a screaming five wood, off one of those crazy mounds that guard the left side of that deep green. His ball bounded to the right, leaving him with about a 10-footer for an eagle three. In it went. It was his version of your hole out on one, way back when. The fire was started. He torched the property, from the eighth green, one of the highest elevations on the course, to the scorer's room. You could say he did not miss a shot. The card is a thing of beauty. Justin Rose walking to the 16th green on Thursday. Getty images go slow here, to absorb it in full. Picture the holes, and the greens, in your mind's eye. He made a birdie on 9, with that crazy sloping green. A birdie on 10, with that crazy sloping green. A par on 11, but nobody makes birdie there. I'm playing on one leg, inside the grittiest masters round of the day by Alan Bastable a birdie on 12, with a green the size of a Hershey bar. A birdie on 13, after laying up his second shot on the par 5. A par on 14, a birdie on 15, after playing his third shot from a greenside bunker. A birdie on 16, with the pin close to the clown's nose Sunday position. A birdie on 17, stiffed the second. A two-putt par on 18, 65. As the first golfer likes to say, come on, man. It was the damnedest 65 you could ever hope to see, on a day when the greens were brown in places and the course was fast most everywhere. Rose played the back 9 in 30. He played his final 11 holes in 9 under. Remember in November, when former world no.